For this project, you're going to need a piece of construction paper. I'm using a uh, 18 by 11 sheet of tabloid size construction paper. If you don't have this, that's okay. There's also regular size paper. So this is a regular size sheet of paper. I'm gonna start with blue. Feel free to choose whatever color you want. You're also going to need a brush. I'm gonna use this kind of brush. It's got a flat edge. Additionally, whenever we're using a brush, we usually need also uh, a cup of water filled about halfway up. And the paints, of course. You're always going to need a black paint, a white paint, and whatever color your paper is, so let's say you use a green paper, blue paper, orange paper, whatever color that is, you wanna get another uh, darker color paint if you can help it. Uh, I'm going to use this dark blue, which is going to look good on this lighter blue. It's also always good to have a piece of paper towel handy, and I like to use a piece of cardboard for the paints to put on there. And a pair of scissors. Once you have all your art supplies together, we can begin. All right, so I'm starting with a regular sheet of paper. Now, my kind of um, cup of water I like, it's got little bumps on the top, so I place brush right there. It holds it nice and steady. I'm gonna need my piece of cardboard. And what I always tell my students is that you only need an M&M size piece uh, blob of paint. We've got all three kinds. Let's go ahead and begin. Now the first thing we need to learn is how to use our brush correctly. You see there's two different ways to use the brush. If you want to draw thin lines, you hold the brush straight up and down. And what that does is that only allows this really thin part of the brush to touch the paper. But if you want thicker lines, you can tilt your brush to the side. And that uses the width of the paper so it's thicker. Let me show you what I mean. The first thing we need to do is we need to decide what kind of lines we're going to draw on our serape paper. We also need to leave just a bit of extra uh, space here, maybe like the width of a ruler. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of extra and I'm going to start with black. And notice that I'm holding my brush straight up and down. So. I'm going to drag my brush straight up and down. And you see how thin that line is because I just used the edge. Now as long as we have black on our um, brush, we want to use up all the black before we clean it and start again. So now that I've started using black, let's use black again. I'm gonna dip it in my black paint and I'm gonna give the same line that I just did on the other side. Dragging it up nice and smoothly all the way up the paper. Okay, so now I have one and two lines. I'm still gonna use black because I have more that I can use. And this time I think I'm gonna try a dash line up, but I'm gonna use the thick side, so I'm gonna tilt it on its side. So, dash, dash. And see how this allows me to make thicker lines. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna add a little bit more black paint because we don't wanna be wasteful. We wanna use as much of the black paint as we possibly can. So whatever the amount is that we gave ourselves, we wanna make our paintings, our, our paints that we're using, our acrylic paints especially, we wanna make them last as long as possible. And now this time, I think I'm gonna do maybe a swirly line or a zigzag line right up the middle. So I'm going to tilt my brush on the side and I'm going to zig, zag. Zig, oh, and you can see I'm starting to run out of paint, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on my brush. Ah, nice. So now that I've done my zigzag zigzag, I would like to now go ahead and clean my brush because I wanna use another color, and we don't wanna mix up two colors. We wanna keep these colors the colors that they are. So what I like to do is I like to put my brush into my water and I'm gonna go back and forth and back and forth along the bottom of my water. And when the paint comes off, you're gonna see the water turn black. Back and forth and back and forth. I'm giving my brush a bath. Back and forth and back and forth. I'm giving my brush a bath. My brush is now clean, but it's also wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out the paper towel that you saw before and I'm going to dry off my brush. I want those bristles be nice and dry. 
awesome souls. Now it's time for me to choose another color. This time I'm gonna choose white. And you can see that I got it on the edge. So what I'm gonna do with my white is I'm going to put little accents right on my zigzag. So I'm gonna put one here. Now when I make my patterns like this, it's really cool because patterns are lines or shapes that just repeat again and again. I think I can do this other side too. I'm running out of white paint, so let me add a little bit more and I'm gonna do a nice thin line on both sides. Here we go. Now I'm running out of paint here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my paint over and I'm gonna use the side that's still here. Now, can you tell me where the next line goes? Does it go here? Uh-uh. Does it go here? Somebody give me a uh-uh. It goes in between the skinny line and the dashed line, which is right here. Uh-huh. And now I've got some space in here. Mm. And I also have some space on the outside. Mm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make thin dashed lines, not the thick ones, the thin ones. Oh, this is so much fun. So now I have dashed lines, dashed lines. And I've got a little bit more paint, and I can see that I have a little bit more space, so why not? I can put a little bit more. It's fun to practice using my brush correctly. Okay, fun. Awesome. Okay, so I think I'm done with the white, and now it's time for me to clean off again. So I'm going to take my brush, put it in the water, and go back and forth. And you can see that the white paint is turning the black paint, and now I have gray water, because white and black mixed together make gray. Then I'm going to grab my paper towel again and I'm gonna dry off my brush. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now my brush is all dry. Now the last one that I need to use is the blue. So I've got some blue there, I've got some space here. Let's go ahead and begin. This time I think I wanna put a, a little snaky wavy line. Not straight, but wavy, nice curves. So I'm gonna hold my brush at an angle. Oh, and I'm running out of paint. So what do I do? What do I do? I've gotta go ahead and grab some more blue paint. This is looking wonderful. So I'm gonna do the same one over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put one more thin line of blue on the outsides. So. When we do a thin line, do we do straight up and down or do we do it side uh, at a diagonal? That's right, straight up and down. So I'm going to do another straight up and down line. Okay, so I just need to clean my brush one more time. that to the side, grab my paper towel. Now if you have a water cup like I do, I'm just going to rest it lightly on top. It won't roll anywhere. Now all I have to do is use my scissors and I'm going to cut, 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 cut all the way up on this side and on this side. Now I've got my scissors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper Turn, 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 turn. And I'm going to cut on either side. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side. And there you have it. Got your Serape fringe, and it's fun. You've got your cool pattern and design, and I think you've got a wonderful Serape. Great job. Don't forget to throw out or recycle your cardboard piece. Also, don't forget to put the, the caps firmly back onto your paints after you're done so that they don't dry out.
and your water needs to be dumped out and then rinsed and cleaned and then put out to dry.